J. Tracy, actress, singer, writer, model, and now pregnant model. I am currently a little over seven and a half months pregnant with my third baby. Before I drop this baby, I want to show you my favorite looks for each season. All of these looks are very inexpensive because you can wear these clothes even when you aren't pregnant. You may even have some of this stuff in your closet right now. So since I'm a summer baby and this baby's a summer baby, let's start with summer. My favorite thing to wear in summer is a breezy long dress. None of these dresses that I'm going to show you are maternity dresses, but they're still easy to get in and out of. They're flowy and cool, and the best thing is that they leave plenty of room to grow so you can wear them before, during, and after your pregnancies. You can find dresses like this. I got this one at Ross. I got these shoes at Payless, but I also love to shop at Forever 21, Marshalls, Target, and I usually pay no more than $20 or $30 for a dress, $20 or $30 for shoes, and $10 on jewelry is my limit. This dress is strapless, so I like to throw on a jean jacket indoors and roll up the sleeves to show off my accessories. I got this from Maya of Sky Accessories, who gave it to me when I did a fashion show for her. Now look at this pretty blue thing. I love these dresses because you can wear them casually with fun accessories like this flower that I got in Hawaii. And I think I got these sandals at Target. I love the little lift they give. They're very comfortable. And I got this dress at Forever 21 and it's a size medium. Oh, I want to show you this ring I got at Forever 21 too. So cute. And then if you're going out, you can dress these dresses up. You know, do your hair, put on a nice jacket, fancy sleeves, pretty long necklaces, and of course, cute heels. I am all about comfort. I do not wear anything that hurts because I got bunions, okay? These comfy one and a half inch heels are from Target, and this pretty necklace is from Forever 21. They have cheap jewelry, and I do mean cheap. It always breaks, but I always fix it. <laughs> If you've seen many of my other videos, you know I like to wear hats, and summer is the best time to bust out with your big hats to protect your beautiful countenance. This dress, again, is not maternity, so it's getting a little tight in the front, but it's got strings in the back so when the belly falls off, I can pull it back tight. I got these shoes from Payless a couple years ago. Sorry if you can't see, they have some cute butterfly detail on the front. And this brontosaurus of a hat is so great for the beach. I think my mom gave it to me. She probably got it from a thrift store because she lives at thrift stores and the Goodwill. Ladies, underneath these dresses for support and to hide the nippleage, I'm wearing this Magic Sense bra that sticks to you, no straps. I found it at a clothing store in the mall for less than $20. And I believe they also sell something like this at Victoria's Secret. Or for support, you can get yourself a good strapless bra at least one or two sizes too small so that it stays put. I also like to wear dresses in fall, but since it starts cooling off, I pull out my leggings and boots. I never ever wear flats, pregnant or not pregnant. They offer no support, hurt your feet, bad for your back. High heels are also bad for the back during pregnancy and they're dangerous. As your belly grows every day and sometimes significantly week by week, your center of gravity changes so your balance can easily be thrown off. So it's a good idea to go through your shoes when you get pregnant, throw out your flats, stash your high heels that are above two inches away for your comeback like three months after birth, then you can pull them back out. Um, this entire outfit minus the jacket and boots, but the dress and leggings, necklace, they're all from Forever 21. The jacket, I think someone gave this to me. It's a cool leather jacket with strings hanging everywhere. Oh, look, I don't even look pregnant from the back. How cute I am. Um, but anyway, what? Oh, I don't remember where this came from. I may have gotten it myself from a thrift store or a swap meet. So those black shoes I got somewhere like Off-Broadway or Shoe Pavilion, I don't know, somewhere on sale. The heel's not too, too high, but it's a little too skinny. So this fatter heel is better for pregnancy. I got these from a store in the mall. They had a sale, buy one, get one pair, half off. Most of us have something like this wrap in our closet somewhere. My friend Denise donates clothes to me every time she updates her wardrobe because she likes to shop and I don't. She likes to hit up Macy's and I'm so grateful for her. Hey Denise, God bless you. This top has subtle hints of green so I like to bring out that pop of color with amazing bag like this one. Also donated to me from my sister best friend Dora. Hey sister. This is an Aldo bag but she's like me. We don't buy brand names brand new. So I'm sure she got it from a thrift store or maybe she was re-gifting. Oh, sorry if I put you on blast girl. I think re-gifting is great but I did buy these sunglasses from Target and I wanted to come show you this cute headband that I got from Claire's. I picked up this beautiful blue scarf from a side vendor at the mall. It has these little shells hanging and I just love it and the scarf goes so well with my outfit here. I've got my black top with cream boots and accessories. These were the boots I got at the same time as those brown ones for half off at the mall. They have a very low heel so I can walk around a lot in these. Baby doll tops are perfect for a big old belly like mine and the v-neck is great to show off these boobies that finally decided to grow in after I started having kids. Yay boobies! But when the weather's cool you gotta keep that neck warm so you can wrap that scarf around or you can put it on your head. Isn't that cute? 
If you have pajama jeans or stretch jeans like I'm wearing, they will be amazing during your pregnancy. You'll be like me and want to wear them every day. I also wore leggings under this beautiful purple piece here. I have to give a shout out to Shureska. She gave me this piece I'm modeling here after I did a fashion show for her. Oh, there I am in the fashion show. I put a link to her info in the description box. And hey, guess what? My kids are models too. I know, aren't they so gorgeous? Yes, just darling. And of course, daddy's handsome too. Oh, wrong picture. Yes, this one. Oh, isn't he fine? Yes, but this video isn't about them. Back to my fashion show. Now we're into winter and for the cold months, sweaters are awesome. Isn't this lavender beautiful? It was our main wedding color with silver and white is so pretty. And I wish you could just reach into the screen and feel how incredibly soft the sweater is. Wait, no, no, I don't know you. I love you, thank you for watching my video, but I don't know you, I don't want you touching me. You might be a troll looking for pregnant porn on the internet. Hey, but if that's not you, and you really are watching this video for some ideas, then you'll probably find some loose fitting sweaters like this, or long ones already in your closet. If not, you can find bigger sweaters like this at bargain stores like Kohl's. I got this one at clearance at Target for like seven or $11, I think. And I liked it so much, I went back the next day with my brother's girlfriend, hey Stacy, and we both bought a gray one in small size. And stuff like this is cute enough, you can wear it even when you're unpregnant. Put a belt around the middle and wear it like a sweater dress, yeah. I am wearing regular jeans underneath, and later in this video, I will show you a very cool trick how you can wear your regular jeans throughout your pregnancy as opposed to maternity jeans. I was blessed enough to have some maternity jeans handed down to me, but once that belly band gets too tight, it really hurts my stomach. And then I have some much bigger ones, but the jeans are super baggy, so I only wear those when I have to, like in my ninth month. So I was trying to be festive and wear a red sweater for the holiday season, but I ended up just looking like a fat Santa Claus. Yeah, Merry Christmas. So we're going to skip this look next. Speaking of the Antarctica's, winter white is always nice. My brother gave me that red sweater and it's really cute when I'm not pregnant, but I don't have a matching red shirt I can wear underneath to hide the extraness of my belly. But for this color scheme here, it was easy to layer. I got this sweater at the Goodwill for like maybe $4 and these pants were another freebie from the beautiful Denise. They aren't maternity. These are guest pants made of 97% cotton, 3% spandex, and they're really stretchy. Got it accessorized with the warm fuzzy hat and this furry bag. It was part of a Bath and Body Works gift set that my hubby got me some years back. Doesn't he have good taste? When I step back, you won't be able to see just how cool this warm sweater is. So I wanted to show you up close all the little details and buckles and lines, but you can see it's an off the shoulders asymmetrical cut. I'm back to wearing my boots over my jeans. Very cute. This sweater is just as cute, pregnant or unpregnant. It stretches and then bounces back. Gotta stay warm with this furry scarf from grandma and these isotoner gloves from my thoughtful husband who wants to keep me and baby nice and toasty. Springtime! I absolutely love tank tops, but when I'm pregnant, unfortunately, most of my regular tanks aren't long enough to cover all that belly. And especially if I'm using the rubber band trick that I'm about to show you, I don't want that showing. So one of my favorite things to do is use my husband's undershirts. He wears like Hanes or Fruit of the Looms, and you can buy a package of these for just a few dollars from Target, Walmart, wherever you shop, and they are nice and long. This is a medium that I'm wearing. And check out this purse. It's handmade by a lady named Kat. When I worked for Burke Williams Day Spa as a manager in the call center, sometimes we would let the employees come and set up their own little vendor tables. And I always love to support people making their own products at good prices. And this adorable matching necklace and earring set, you won't guess where I got it from. 99 cents. That's right. So if you aren't bold enough to wear the tank a la carte, maybe your belly button's poking out like mine, or you don't like your bra showing, or your arms are getting a little flabbity floppity, then you can put something like this over it. What are these things called? Rug shirts? Uh, ponchos? Shawls. Shawls! That's what they're called. Yeah. I have several of these in different colors and styles, and your off-the-shoulder loose clothing like this will go perfect over your tank top. And if that's going to be too warm, you can put a sheer shirt over it. That's right, see-through clothing, sexy mama. Speaking of mamas, my mom gave me this shirt. It's an extra large, nice and breezy. So these are the jeans I was wearing. I got them from Ross a long time ago, very inexpensive, less than $20. They still fit, except they don't button. So you take a rubber band like so, put it through the hole, and then you can wrap it around the top one or two buttons if you need to. And it stretches out with your belly. See? Ta-da! 
And one day when your rubber band pops, just put on a skirt. <laughs> Shout out to my friend Christy Joy for showing me that rubber band trick, by the way. Now I'm still in my tank top and my favorite thing to do is put a colorful light jacket or sweater on over it. And nowadays those open, buttonless, flowy sweater light things that hang low in the front, they're really popular. Those are cute. You can also put your button up shirts that don't button up anymore. Just leave them open over your tank. And another shout out to Miss Feeney, another Burke Williams employee who sold me this really cute wooden necklace. That's it for my little fashion show. I hope you got some ideas or at least enjoyed watching. Check the description box below for more information and all the stores that I mentioned are in the tags. And of course, it is very wise to save as much money as possible even if you aren't pregnant. But if you are expecting, congratulations to you. And if you happen to have any questions about pregnancy, nursing, babies, toddlers, then just leave a comment below or inbox me and maybe I can answer some questions in a future video. You know I'll keep it real with you. And always remember the most beautiful thing you can wear is a smile. So I wish you much happiness, peace, and many blessings. Dislike, smish like.